people on crutches can suffer from a number of problems. Their hands become fatigued, they lose their balance, and they fall. The crutches slip out because they're not stable. Many people do fall on crutches, even on walkers and canes. And those falls have dramatic effects on them. This thing has not changed for maybe 100 years. You've got a contact area that's not very big. No. You know, and these babies wore out pretty quickly depending on how much the patient would use them. And the second you wear them out, and a lot of people don't know they're worn out, so they start uh, on concrete with a metal surface, uh, wet surfaces, they start slipping right away. You got a hand plate that has a really small grip. So, I mean, if you had a large hand, you'd have to wrap a bunch of junk around it to expand it. And if they had too big of, or too small of a hand, they couldn't really get a good fit on it. And then you got the Exilla. Wow, I yes. mean, how many problems are caused by exercise? It's 100% if they lean on it. So, right. yeah, there's no way around it. No way around it. So I think that you have to take this traditional model and say, you know, it's been there for a long, long time, and it's time to change. So we come up with an idea that I think will help people become more mobile, help people relieve the pain of using crutches, and return to a normal, healthy lifestyle much more quickly. Just look at the design of the bottom and the fact that you've got a, a wider surface, more contact area, almost looks like a, a tire, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, you know, with so. grip on each one of these little pebbles here, it's incredible. Right, and then you have the ability to have this sort of kind of move as you move in a normal pattern so that you're not stuck vaulting the crutch, but actually have the crutch oscillate back and forth and, and really feel better as you're making contact. It looks more like a foot model is more secure to the patient, and I think we're much further ahead than no question, foot's an excellent design. The hand plate ergonomically allows a more spread area of surface contact. Doesn't matter if you have a small hand, doesn't matter if you have a large hand. You're able to really get the contact you need with this, more less likely to put too much pressure on that on that uh, phenar and hyperphenar position so that you can get more surface contact with the hand. Well, what do you think about uh, if you could connect these things together? Well, I think it really makes it easier for you because yeah. if you're stuck in certain situations, it, it's a lot easier having the swing uh, link so that I can control both of my crutches. Plus, if I keep my links there, as I'm moving forward, as I'm progressing or transitioning my weight forward, it's easier so that I can control it. It might be a little big for me because, you know, Will's a lot taller than I am, but it'll be a lot easier for me as I'm swinging this, I can feel the pressure keeping me into an upright position. It's got that pressure point to where it's helping my body transition, and then I can automatically bring this crutch. Or even if I bring both crutches, if I've got a three-point gait pattern, I can bring both crutches and then bring my other, uh, my normal leg with me. So I think the the swing link is absolutely a great. I think it's a addition. great. It's a great right. addition. Here, support you can see across my back allows these to function both in in unison, but also if you can look at my back, you can see it supports my whole spine so that I'm not leaning forward. Um, and I don't have to lean forward in the same way that I did with the other crutches. Putting these together make it function almost, not quite as stable as a walker, but almost as stable as a walker. And that'll allow kids to be much more normal and again, have something to talk about that isn't a, a stigmata. Axilla, instead of being concave where it, it goes inside to inside you and hits the front of your um, armpit and the back of your armpit, here, um, this is what we call convex or slope slightly up so that you know, it doesn't impinge on the front of your arm or the back of your arm and does allow for support 
a broader area of support so it doesn't hit your chest and armpit um, over such a small area and it's cushioned so that it causes less pain and less difficulty. Once my patients see these, this is what they're going to have. You can, you can take these and you can do something with them. But this is what I'm talking about. You need more recycling. Recycling. Yeah. You turn them into swings. Yeah.